Good morning and welcome to a really miserable wet day at Greenfields in Hui Hin. Ooh, that's lightning. Lightning's not good when you're playing around with fishing rods. Uh, we got here this morning and it was pissing it down. We waited an hour in the coffee shop without power and it started to clear up. It wasn't too bad. So we, we got out fishing and it just seems to be getting worse and worse. Ooh. But I, um, it took me six hours to get down here from Bangkok yesterday. The traffic was an absolute nightmare. It'd be a shame to come that far and spend that long in the car and not fish. So I'm going to give it a go um, see what happens. Richard's already had a red tail. So Steve. Uh, I've only just got my rods out. It's a beautiful place. If it was a nice day, it'd be a great place to be fishing. It's just unfortunate that we've turned up on a really miserable day. Yeah. Move to Thailand, they said. It'll be sunny, they said. Ah. Okay, the lightning's getting closer, which is worrying. That's only about two miles away. And now I've got a fish on, so I don't want to get the rod tip up in case I die of electrocution. <laughs> Do we think we have on here? Yeah, this is a nice rod, this one, Richard. <laughs> I've got. <laughs> oh, the lightning's getting closer. There's a couple of trees around here. Hopefully, if the lightning strikes here, it won't get me directly. But even if it comes close, you'll be in trouble. At least I don't have to wet down the mat. Ah, little red tail, first fish, Ooh. Right, um, I might go and get a beer and maybe some lunch because I'm risking, risking electric, electric shock here. I get hit by lightning. That's dedication for you. Go on, Richard. I done that man. I'll tell you what, you know, I caught it about three inches off the bank. I'm setting up a second one with uh, sweet corn. Oh, oh, what's going on? Oh, there he is. About the size of the one that uh, I caught this morning. Yeah, yeah. Could, Could be, be the same, same one. fish. Well done. Cheers. You worked hard for that in the rain. Yeah. I'll take a photo for it. Thank you. Yeah, you're good, mate. I can uh, drop him back in. Bye-bye. I'm not sure the camera's going to pick this up, but the um, all the runoff coming from this rain, oh, there you go, you can see that, turning this water just uh, a brown chocolate colour. That's not going to be good for the fishing. You can see the colour change in the water. Something's, something's hunting around there. It'd be nice to rent one of these rooms and chill out at the lake. It's a nice place to be. I just chose a bad day for the weather. All that's coming across the road. Here's what I've got on the... Uh, this is what I've got on the second rod, same feeder and then just uh, four pieces of fake sweet corn and a size 30 in hook.
Yeah, he's a little bit smaller than what we thought this morning. It's actually stopped raining for the first time all day. I know. <laughs> Adios. Don't, don't, don't give up. We've actually got some better weather now, and at the same time, we're getting into the time that might be be better anyway. So, yeah, late, late afternoon certainly should kick in. Yeah, he's a little bit bigger than the one you just caught. Here you go. Okay. <laughs> he wants to walk across the ground. Ooh. Oh, yeah, touch bigger. Nice. Another one from Greenfield. I don't mind catching red tails. They're good fun. They fight hard. They're not slimy. Thank you. Nice colour on it. It's very slim, but nice colour on it, at least. <laughs> Well done. Nice. <laughs> That's one way of returning them. All right. I want to show you this. Um, it's a blachado, a giant snake. Obviously. Oh shit! Shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't happening. If I get a bite, I'm in trouble. Mind you, these things breathe air. Um, yeah, I'll show you this. It's a blachado, a giant snake out of the little stock pool next to it next to me it looks like it's been bitten it's it's sick this one it's just swimming around on the surface real slow it's got nice colors in it Blachador, giant snake it when it's a baby obviously but there you go. now I can get them out Quick. when they have damaged uh, fins like that they, they can stab you really easy something different Little striped catfish. Is it a striped catfish or is it a mollycock? It's got extra whiskers. I don't think it is a striped catfish. It might be a mollycock. I'm not very good at identifying them. Oh, let's go and have a look at Richard. Richard's got something done. Thank you, Steve. Sorry, mate. We're dealing with a. Oh, hey. mate. How are you doing? Yeah, not too bad. How's things? Good. That's the same one we there, got. So. Yeah, um, I don't think uh, it was either a sway or a mollycock. I'm not very good at telling the two apart, but it had what I think was extra whiskers. Mollycock. Yeah, slimy as hell. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it is a mollycock, but. It's a red tail. It's ready to go. Nice one. Well done, Richard. Cheers. Good like that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, careful. <laughs> Please think. Please, I thought it was going to happen. Stop. Stop. Okay, stop. Look, you've ended up on the grass of your own accord. I had a nice mat for you. Okay. Molly Cot. Molly Coat. Got the extra whiskers and it's slimy as hell. It's just left like a, a load of bogies on my fishing line. Oh. And now, and you just look at the grass, all the slime on the grass. I can't get it off my hands. Definitely a monocot. Oh, oh. You see it's got marginally little different. whiskers there and then another set of whiskers here. Marginally and different shape as well. A bit slimy. It's a bit more um, streamlined. Has it still got pads in his mouth? Yeah, but different in a way. Mm -hmm. There we go. Any blah like a. Pass away, 
คิดว่าไม่ใช่ปลาสวายเพราะว่ามีสีอ่าสเนลใช่ไหมครับเป็นปลาหนูใช่ไหมใช่เป็นเป็นครอสกับคร o สอ่าเป็นปลาบึกครอสกับปลาสวายครับอ๋อบิ๊กวายซัมติงไรต์เยสโอเคมาฟรนด์สติกิมบัคโอเคเฮ้ Now that it's not raining, you might be able to see the arapaima in here. And some red tails as well. It's fairly big. Looks like there's a paku in there as well. Yeah, it's a touch bigger than the yeah, a touch bigger than the last one. And this time you get a photo because the last one <laughs> ended up sliding down the bank and going in. <laughs> I'm facing the other way. You see. Did you see the one he got earlier? He unhooked it and it just slid down the bank and oh, went yeah. back in. <laughs> there you go, look at the slime. It's like picking up a big bar of soap. Yeah, now smile. Come on, you're happy. <laughs> Is that on the bread again? w h y the foam. Nice one. Whoa, look at that slime. There's quite a few um, molly cops in here as well. c o a t s in here as well. I've I've had two slimy buggers. Nice, beautiful fish. Are you going to smile or? <laughs> Take a photo for you. Um, I, I got a couple. They were, they were fine. Yeah. Probably better off putting him back in the net, wasn't it? Oh, okay. You taking a photo? Okay. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Exactly. Well, yeah, good to meet you, John. Thank you. Thank you. Fish of the day. Oh man, five fifty-nine. Literally about a minute left of the day. The bite alarms are already in. The rub was on a chair, but it went off. Oh, that's, that's it. What counts. Yeah, I'm starting to pack up as well. Are we get a photo of this one, Rick. Oh, sorry, I turned it to photo. It ended up being a good day at Greenfields when the weather cleared. We had about three hours of good fishing in the afternoon. I'll have to return in the future and hopefully choose a day with better weather. If you're around Hua Hin and you're looking for a day's fishing, Greenfields is definitely one you should consider. The food was good and reasonably priced. It's set out nice. It's a nice place to be for the day. The bait was well priced. The bread all the round is 30 baht a kilo, and a can of sweet corn is 40 baht. We went down to Hua Hin for the weekend. On the Saturday, we did some metal detecting on the Hua Hin beach. There's Richard out for his first time metal detecting. Richard found a wombat, not that kind of wombat, this kind of wombat. Still, it's good to get out and about. Thanks for watching. See you soon.